so I want to show you a little Valentine's Day theme tour of our room. So I just have that banner and a few other things on our shelf. So this is going to be a bit Montessori inspired, um, Waldorf, you know, just homeschool stuff. And most of the stuff I've got was on sale last year. That's the best time is after Valentine's is over is to see all the stuff on sale. Like, I think I got, there was two Valentines that were like normally $3 and I got them for 20 cents each. Um, so I'll just quickly pull them down. So these are fun. I thought it'd be cool to play with because they're 3D. So these are animals and then there's another dinosaur ones. So we can like name the animals and name the dinosaurs and read them. Um, or we might give him out in his preschool class. He attends uh, Montessori uh, Junior Preschool two days a week. So I just cut this out of some cardstock I had. Over here is my monthly calendar. Um, just like his Imaginarium is the brand, uh, it was like a tower of love. Big case of blocks. And I took some of them and I used just a simple chalkboard marker. This is from Amazon. I just searched chalk marker and they're non-toxic and I just like made my own letters and made a little block tower. So that's how we do our calendar. These are just some sage oils for me. That's kind of like a present to myself, <laughs> like tranquility, stress-free energy, all that. Um, so that's cool. And then over here, this is just kind of my bin where I keep extra stuff that I especially don't want him getting into. So some of this stuff down here I'll move up because I know that he'll eat it or he'll just make a huge mess. So I might keep some activities up in this box until I'm ready to sit down with him and do them. And my son is two and a half. Um, so I just have some decor, his Valentine's card he got last year. Um... So I just kind of decorated a little bit with some Valentine's stuff and then these little treasure bags with gems I thought were fun and play with and use them as counters. And then over here, uh, his Play-Doh dried out. So uh, it was in a heart shape. I just glued it to this. Um, here I have an old pencil case that was mine and some pencils in it that are like hearts on them. Oh, and I also have a few stampers we'll use so when we're doing like an art arts and arts project we'll use some stampers and again there's just some hard pencils so he'll just practice zippering it and opening and closing it and then over here i have a heart i cut out of this cardstock and some heart paper clips some pink paper clips red and pink is kind of the theme and the heart is the shape theme um for this next few weeks and I have some stickers we can practice with the stickers um, put the different paper clips on scrape fine motor skill and then we're also going to use the glue stick and some pink construction paper and we'll cut out um, practice scissor skills and cut and paste some more hearts on this heart then I just have extra like flashcards and stuff like for later on that I just keep up here to kind of rotate in and out. We might do like one set of flashcards a day. Uh, he just really enjoys them. I don't drill my son. <laughs> he does enjoy them. Um, this is from the dollar store. Just like to paint these little wooden hearts. I thought it's kind of like Waldorfy and fun because it's a natural material. And we can color them or paint them. Oops. Let's see if I can get this back. Probably not. This one, I got impatient, so I got a Voss bottle, and these are elastics, they're the rubber kind, uh, you can't use the clear elastics. And then I put a golf tee at the bottom to do like, see if I can get any, do a ring toss game. Okay, I think I got one there. And the golf tee didn't set right, so it set crooked. And also, I use tap water so you can see um, all the little bubbles. So if you use uh, like the bottle water that it comes with, then you won't have the issue. But I was impatient, and I just threw that together. Um, 
Then this here is, it's setting right now. I gotta wipe that glue off. Um, but in the bottom, I'll try and lift it up. So I put a bunch of confetti. So there was like hearts and X's and O's and lips. Um, some more tiny hearts. I used um, some felt hearts and these little gems. And uh, just some glitter glue. So you can see there's like a felt heart there, some gems. Um, all types of glitter. So I'll probably do a, like a video once it's set on what it looks like on Instagram as that glue is drying. <laughs> um, then I'll just kind of go out here. So I'll show you the shelf soon, but I just want to point out so our little art corner. So our family pictures and over here uh, is our felt board. So I have these from the dollar store. They're felt hearts. And I thought they were really cool because they have little holes in them, um, which is great for like a lacing idea. And it's nice because it's a natural material. So I put these on the ground and he can hop on. We do like a hopping game. So normally I have big pieces of felt, but I'll just use these. Hop on the pink one, hop, hop, hop on the white one, hop on the red one. It's good gross motor skills and it teaches good listening skills. He loves that game so much, so I have them laid out. Uh, we do that every morning. <laughs> it's great to get a toddler's energy going. And then I'll just give you a quick overview. Okay, so this one here is lacing. Like I said, these felt hearts from the dollar store have um, little holes in them, so I put a shoelace in. I'll practice lacing. He's not quite there on lacing the fine motor skill, not quite on the interest, so I have him out to practice, and if not, we'll do something else with them. And then down here, this is uh, learning our alphabet sounds. So we have a matching game I made again with his blocks and a chalk marker. So I did the lowercase letters, as they don't have a lot of lowercase letters out there yet like 95% of reading is in lowercase so I had to make my own blocks and we're looking, working on E to F and I have these I saw this idea I believe it was Instagram the Mandarin mar mommy and this is broken hearts it's so cute so capital A match with lowercase a and it's a puzzle I simply cut these out I only cut out a few because it was really simple to cut out with his scissors so I figured the rest he could practice cutting um, and it's a nice fun puzzle so I have that and then over here is just this play silks imagination fun stuff dress up bin this is just again dollar store I shop at Dollarama in Canada um, this is just a escape tray and I have a measuring cup I got this from Superstore um, I just put some beans in it and then I have this little cute little clip he can practice clipping on it's just a chalkboard kind of clip and we can count so these are counting beans we can but um, I could put labels in here or we can just say let's put one in here and practice counting um, so those I will keep out of reach he might eat them who knows it's okay they're edible and then over here, um, we got this from Superstore too. So this was uh, cookie, cookie cutters and it makes a great puzzle too to see you practice uh, which one's the small object, which one's the big object, learning the differences like that and making up the whole puzzle. And then some Play-Doh, uh, like I said, did dry out. So I'll probably hand make some Play-Doh, um, which is really easy to do. And then up here, I have a little tray um, so in here are just hearts, felt hearts. They're so cute. These are from Michael's, I believe. Again, on sale. Um, holla. <laughs> and he can sort red, pink, and white. He's kind of over that activity, so he's really good at it. Sorry, put that to the side. Um, have these, more of these clips, which are fun to practice with. And then I also have these mini clips. So I have, again, this heart wooden ornament we can decorate. And then these adorable little 
clips, um, clothespins, that he can practice clipping to the wood. And they're nice and small for his fingers. And this is nice and thick, so it can clip on really easily. Um, then I have some elastics, kind of do some more fine motor, maybe loop it around this or loop it around uh, the heart. Um, just practice different things with the elastics. I do want to get like kind of a pegboard eventually, um, but he is a bit young for that. So then over here we have a colors, his favorite colors book, which I showed in another video. We have color sorting. He is acing this, so I may have to put this away. I just have objects from around the house and he sorts them. And then this I made wood, painted it, mod podge. Um, same with the rocks, which is missing one. Heart shaped rock. And you can match the colors on the color gradient. So this helps teaches different um, gradients of colors. So these are like pink, it's kind of purple, red. It's all kind of in the same category. Then over here, again, more broken hearts. I thought that was so cute. So one and then the dots and then two and the dots to practice counting. And he can cut these. And I thought clipping this would make it easier because he's having a hard time holding the paper and cutting. So I thought this would make it easier to grip and then to cut um, along the fold. These are his little scissors that do not cut hair or anything. They're just meant for two-year-olds. And some pretty washi tape. And we can practice taping the hearts back together. And then this is just um, a ball from Target a few years ago that still works. <laughs> so I just had that out for him to play with. And then to the side, just have his cleaning rags and his little cleaning bottle there. So, and then up here, um, forgot to mention some little cupcakes. We'll probably make cupcakes or muffins. So that is our little Valentine's activity tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you some ideas to do with your toddler. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.